Good morning, Evelyn. Oh, I <laughs> I never do this with all my gear on. I can't even get on the bike. <laughs> what the? God almighty, y'all. I can't even get on the bike. All right, let's, let's help her. I'm here to help you, Evelyn. I'm here to help us. Oh, careful. Maybe now. Let's get on it from the wrong side, see if that works. Oh. Yep. <sighs> Whew. There we are. So, have you guys ever uh, come across an opportunity they kind of seem larger than life. If I can roll this bike out here. Golly. Oh, we're gonna. <laughs> it's a struggle. God, it's a struggle. All right. Come on, Evelyn. You heavy B.I. Golly. <sighs> what was Yamaha thinking when they made anything remotely resembling a sport bike almost 500 pounds man freaking ridiculous this bike is good thing I love it <sighs> okay stop <sighs> just sit there and don't sink <sighs> where was I yeah have you guys oh by the way my b camera's dead this morning even after i charged it so sorry um have you guys ever been presented with an opportunity that was really just larger than life and you took a shot at it just because you thought to yourself you know if i don't at least try um i might regret it from this day on well i took a major shot at a very specific career advancement <laughs> and it freaking worked like I got it so that means a few life changes are coming boys welcome to Fizzer Friday oh look we need gas and by the way if my voice sounds a little funny this morning um, it's actually very cold here for whatever reason you know Texas is what it does and uh, I just got my voice back it's not 100% yet fun story the first time I ever met track buddy Brian I lost my voice randomly I don't even believe it was associated with a sickness and this is something that's only been happening to me for the past couple of years um, in fact this is only the second time ever in my life that I've lost my voice um, and so the first time track buddy Brian and I met, I sounded like a freaking cartoon. How about that? I'm not sure if he was amused or disappointed. <laughs> so about that life change. Now I'm not gonna go into any, um, would you say specific specifics? <laughs> but uh, just know that I've been in my uh, my career of aviation management for uh, 17 years now and the opportunity I was just offered is kind of the denouement, the pinnacle if you will, of, uh, of my career thus far. And so it's going to bring some changes man. And the reason why I'm even mentioning it to you guys is because it's going to bring changes to the channel. Um, both good and bad the good is that you know I'll probably be able to afford some nicer equipment and stuff to try and advance the channel's quality but the bad is that this particular job is uh, an hour and a half uh, about an hour and 20 minutes to the northwest of here and uh, I'm going to be commuting for the foreseeable future for that for that trip. Um, and I'm not going to do it on either of my motorcycles. Um, it's going to be way too much mileage put on either bike. It's going to 
be way too expensive on tires. Dude, I will go through tires like nobody's business if I commute an hour and 20 minutes one way every day. What is that? That's, uh, that's almost three hours. Can you imagine riding for almost three hours every day? Uh, as you can imagine, there's a multitude of reasons why that just wouldn't be a good idea. So I'm not going to do it. In fact, I'm going to pick up a little car at some point uh, so that I have something proper to commute in. Uh, and besides, man, if, if I'm ever going to ride Evelyn to that airport, I'm going to have to re-gear her all over again. Like, I'm not going to do 9,000 RPM for an hour and a half. I'm just not, I'm not going to do it, you know. Yes, she is an unbelievably reliable machine, problem free, but 70,000 miles is 70,000 miles, boys. You know, I'm not going to purposefully overstress this bike for an extended period of time. You know, track days are a different story. Track days are constant up and down RPM. I'm not trying to hold it damn near red line for three hours a, a day. <laughs> well, anyways, so yeah. Here's the most interesting point. The most interesting aspect of the particular airport I'll be working at is that it's like, I don't know, 20 minutes from Crescent. <laughs> So I said about an hour and 20 minutes northwest of here, dude, that's practically Crescent. In fact, if you get on like realtor.com or whatever and search for houses at this new place, Crescent actually pops up in the search results because it's that close. So it's kind of like going, coming full circle. It's crazy, man. Like where it all started in our track day career, boys, is where I'm going to be working every day and eventually likely living so when I say good things for the channel imagine the possibilities for track days man when I am living basically next door to Crescent the possibilities will be endless now the ultimate bad outside of the fact that I'm just not gonna commute every day on my bike um, let's specifically talk about Fridays. So as you guys know, Fridays are for fizzers, right? Fizzer Friday. But uh, as stated, I'm not going to ride Evelyn that length of time and, and, and that, much, that frequently with this, uh, this current gearing setup. Whew. It's cold. And I'm like, kind of out of breath because, you know, this recovery process. <clears throat> Hope I don't lose my voice again. I'm sure I'm talking a lot to you guys. Anyways, the ultimate bad, besides not commuting every day on a bike. Um, Fizzer Fridays are going to become every other Fizzer Friday. Every other Friday, Fizzer Friday, something like that. And the reason why I say that is because... Um, this new city that I'm going to go work for has a, what do they call it, a 90-40 or an 80-40, 80, 80, I don't know. Whatever they call their work week, it means you get every other Friday off, which is very cool, especially for track day planning. But what it's going to amount to is specifically going ride the bike to film Fizzer Fridays for you guys. So I'm undecided as of yet whether or not Fizzer Friday is going to come to an end. Um, obviously, the FZ6R is the theme of my channel. At least until the R9 comes out, right? <laughs> but, we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. Am I right? Well, that was the last of the race gas in Evelyn. That was fun. Yeah, so needless to say, I'm extraordinarily excited for this new opportunity. It's life changing, life changing both for me as well as my family. And as you guys know, if you've been following me for any length of time, um, we full time in an RV and we have been for almost a decade, which is hard to believe, man. It's been like eight years, almost. I guess seven, either way, right? Can you imagine living with five other people? 
in a 42 foot long box well i'm here to tell you it can be done it's just you know less than ideal and so over time a shorter amount of time than previously anticipated i should be able to financially recover from a terrible situation <laughs> and uh finally get my family out of that camper and into a real house and hey if you guys stick around i'll take you along for the ride how about that you know your boy hcu man i always take you guys along for pretty much everything and i'll continue to do that for as long as i can So here we are, man. This is the last time Evelyn will ever come to Waco Regional Airport. Virtually every Friday now for the past five and a half years, me and all Evelyn have come this route. And that is no more. This is it. But as always, boys, on to the next adventure. So we'll see where this takes us. We'll see what kind of uh, potential equipment upgrades and just channel moving forward upgrades and all the things uh, that this opportunity brings forth. So, as always, boys, this has been me. It's been you. It's Africa Cup. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.